you know, less than what they were asking for, and the improvements that would have been made according to those variances would have made it much more difficult to develop that property in the future if they had changed their mind two, two years down the road, you know, after seeing what would occur across the street. Um, but they had a little bit more vision than that, and I appreciate it. So I think whatever temporary improvements are there until August 31st, 2020, um, are easily removed and, and not an impediment to any development in that, those particular properties. Um, I quite frankly don't see anything wrong with the application at this point. It's less than a year now, so we're really talking about eight more months. Um, I think the, the borough is protected. Um, I think our concern was last time that if the first student was unable to sell the property by August 31st, they would just stay there you know, receive a violation and file an appeal to the board and we'll be back here again. I, I think the fact that they've waived any application for two years after that is not only a sign of good faith from the first student, um, but also sufficiently, in my mind at least, protects the borough that we're not in this situation for another two years after that. Um, and other than that, I, I don't have any other 